The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Beast. He is known worldwide for being one of the most crazy creators of all time and he is the definition of going all out no matter what it takes to complete your dream. He has taken extreme steps to succeed on YouTube and he would do anything to get to where he is at today. Mr. Beast would even go to extreme extents to lying to his family and wasting their money, but you know, we'll, we'll talk about that later. I mean, this man was a complete menace in the eyes of YouTube. He just kept going bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what blew him up. But now, enough with the little stuff, let's jump straight into the video with number 10. You may or may not know this, but Mr. Beast started his YouTube channel at the prime age of 13. I've went back and I've watched his videos and it is truly funny seeing where he came from and where he is now. It just shows how far you can actually go on YouTube. So if you're a kid, 12, 13 years old, maybe this is a sign you should start getting into YouTube. Cause in 10 years, you could be where Mr. Beast is today, a multi-millionaire YouTuber that quite frankly doesn't spend any of his money on himself. Once again, we'll get back to that later. Coming in at number 9, Mr. Beast is known as being the most rewarded YouTube content creator in the world. He has won rewards from everywhere from Nickelodeon to YouTube, well I would assume. It's also won rewards for being a philanthropist and just completely destroying the game and just being an amazing person. And with that, let's get to number 8. I'm certainly positive that these are not true, but I mean, I can almost guarantee you, you guys did not know this. Mr. Beast has allegations of assault and abuse within his own workplace. And I mean, as, as we all know, literally anyone can say that about anybody. So I'm guessing that they're fake, but I mean, I guess you never know. The people that work for him have said that he is mentally abusive and he can definitely be a bit much sometimes to work with. New York Times came out with a post on this and if you want to go check that out, make sure you go look up New York Times and look up Mr. Beast. I bet you, you can find it. Coming in at number 7, Mr. Beast, he didn't finish college. What he would do is he'd go to college and he wouldn't tell his mom. And this is the part where he wasted his parents' money. His mom gave him the choice. He can either go to college and actually go through with it and live at home, or he could keep making YouTube videos and just get kicked out of the house. Ahaha, <laughs> you see, he's an intelligent man. He decided to go to college, and for the first six months, he got away without getting caught. He would sit in his car and talk to his YouTube buddies and just learn technique of YouTube and he would just study that the whole day and then come home and his mom wasn't on top of his grades she had no idea how his grades were doing he was failing and literally just doing awful in all of his classes but I mean of course now she is very thankful that he did what he did coming in at number six this one even surprised me you will never guess who his role models were the top people that he looked up to was Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. Now now, he definitely did not like all the things that Elon Musk did, but he admires him from a business perspective. I mean, heck, this man literally has his living room just completely covered in Elon Musk and Steve Jobs paintings. Coming in at number 5, Mr. Beast does not remember his childhood. He thinks this is because he always looks into the future and he believes that he doesn't have space in his mind to hold the memories of his past. I mean, I don't have that and maybe you guys don't either, but I mean he is a remarkable person so it makes sense. Coming in at number 4, he did not tell anybody that he was making YouTube videos for the first few years. His mom had no idea. She just thought that he was going up and doing homework in his room, but no, she was completely wrong. Mr. Beast Man, he's just grinding up on that computer, just looking into the YouTube analytics. What a man. Coming in at number three, this man's first giveaway was 10,000 bucks to a homeless dude. He had a brand deal. It was his first brand deal, and they offered him 5,000 bucks. Mr. Beast, he looked at them and he was like, Hey, if you guys give me 10,000 bucks, I'll turn it around and go give it to a homeless man. And well, <laughs> sure enough, he did. Coming in at number two, 
Mr. Beast usually spends an average of 1 million or more dollars on every single video that he makes. <laughs> Heck, that's a lot more than what a lot of people make in their whole lifetime. But because he does this, he reinvests all of his money back into the channel. That's why he has grown exponentially and he's able to produce insane videos like that. Coming in at number one. Now what could it be? Maybe you think his most expensive video was The Chocolate Factory, or when he gave a million dollars away to the people that went into his little challenge. But no, his most expensive video was recreating Squid Game. 21 million people around the world have seen that video. He spent a whopping four million dollars on that video. Now if that isn't crazy, then I don't know what is. With that, that wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I have an amazing series coming out soon where I try out the most odd, healthy habits that urge people to do. I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.